Hi everyone, happy Monday. Well, as you can see, we are in my kitchen. The kitchen is done, except for the backsplash, of course. And you know what, I would love to get rid of the countertops, but it'd be way, way too much of an expense to do that. So, you know, like I said, I was trying to work with what I have already, except for the backsplash, that can be changed. Now the brick wallpaper did not work out, but you know, I'm gonna put the link down below for the brick wallpaper because I am gonna be using it over in my breakfast nook over there. And I got a couple more spots I'm gonna use it in the house. It will look great over there. I just, I just didn't like it the way it turned out being, I guess, such a short space that I really like it on walls better. And you know, someone did suggest that I use my beadboard wallpaper on there, but then I thought, well, that, I actually thought that too, but then I thought, since I put the beadboard on the sides of the cabinets, I thought that'd be way too much beadboard. So we are going to demo the backsplash here and put up a new one. Now, let me show you really quick what we saw that we liked the best. Now, there's a few other items that we like too. We might even design our own, but this is the kind that comes on a 12 by 12 on the mesh. And it is all travertine. So over here, I'm going to have the picture for you. Now, as you can see, it's really simple. It's travertine. And I think it's going to blend a lot better with these countertops. As I said, these are not my favorite color of countertops. It's a brown with a tan and some specks of black. And I will show you a close up of it when we start going around the kitchen. And, uh, I guess it's probably gonna be a couple more months, so I'm not gonna really do a lot of decorating in here. I will be doing my spring decorating, of course. So, not sure what I wanna do above the cabinets yet. I have to wait and see what I wanna put up there. So, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod now, and we're gonna go around the whole kitchen and check it out. Let's start over here on this side. And hopefully the beadboard wallpaper and I did shows up pretty good on here. It's getting a little cloudy out, but I have all the lights on and you know how that is. And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this beadboard wallpaper into the desk area. I'm going to wait until after we get the new tile put on. And uh, I don't know if you can see. There's about three different colors of brown in this granite and some black specks. So, uh, I think that one tile that I showed you would, would work out good. Oh, and I forgot to say that you can set it the other way too because they're just the 12 by 12 mesh. So you could do it diagonally. Now I have to say I'm really loving the white cabinets. I wasn't sure if I would because I have never had pure white cabinets before. When I've painted them white, I've done the glaze, so just not used to it, but I really do like it. it makes the kitchen really, really bright. And I did paint all the walls in here and I continued it on to the hallway here. Going out to the pantry there on the left and that door goes out to the laundry room. Just gonna kind of move the camera around here if we can get, I can see the island there, kind of, kind of hard to get it all in. And then we'll kind of go back around here. And we need to get rid of the old blinds and I got rid of the valance. I'm not sure what, I think I'm gonna put the buffalo check, the black and the white in here, maybe. I'm not sure yet. These are the new blinds that we got, our cellular blinds, I really love them. We did not do the up down in this window because I always wanna pull it up because it gets a little wet right here by the window if it's touching, I didn't want it to get wet. Oh, and we did put a new faucet in. This is a new faucet. And of course we have our osmosis spigot here that we like to do. Okay, let me back up a little bit here. I know I don't have the best view. <laughs> yeah, I wish I did. And like I said, I did the beadboard there. And also over here, big board. I did not, I'm not sure, I don't think we can get in here, but you know, back in here on that side, 
And then, of course, down here, I did not do the beadboard wallpaper because you don't really see it. I did paint it white, though. I did pull the refrigerator out and paint it, the cabinets on the side. And of course, I had to pull out the refrigerator again to paint the walls. <laughs> All right, actually, I'm going to kind of back up this way a little bit so we can get the island area, too. Well, my floor creaks just a tiny bit. All right. Easier to look at this way. And then here is the wall oven cabinet. And, of course, I got the beadboard over here. You can see it very well. There we go. And this wall is painted all the way over. And we did put, we got all the blinds in here done, which uh, you'll get to see on another video when I show my family room tour for spring. These are the up down in here because we do like to have it down where you still have a little bit of privacy in here. I really, really love the blinds. Oh, let me see if I can look up a little bit more. And these are the bar stools. I think they look pretty good in here. Try not to hit the furniture back here. <laughs> Let me back up a little bit more. And I went ahead, my tripod's in the thing. I went ahead and put that uh, wood and metal piece down there. I think I like that much better. So... That is my kitchen tour. And you know, I don't really mind the big rooster there. I really don't. I think he'll be okay. I can use him. I put some more colorful things around him. Like I said, I haven't decorated in here. And he's getting ready to be replaced by Mr. Bunny here soon anyway. Okay, so let's look over at the breakfast nook really quick and see what the old wall color was. Okay, so just we'll pan around here a little bit this is the old wall color and uh like i said i'm going to be doing the brick wallpaper on this wall that wall and this wall as you can see there is the difference i like the darker color better because it makes it a lot more warmer in here to me and with all these windows and uh you know, the back of the house here facing west, it gets a lot. It's pretty bright in here all the time. So one last look really, really quick. And uh, I'm going to end out the video here for you. You know, one thing I'm really bad about is getting before pictures. So here are some pictures of the house that was taken when it was on the MLS to show you. So all of this decor, of course, is from the previous homeowners. But I wanted to show everybody the color of the cabinets and everything, how it was before I got everything painted. And of course, it's going to look totally different once we get the new backsplash done. Well, that is it for the kitchen. Now, like I said, still got to get the backsplash done and decorating done of course but i'm going to first be doing my spring decorating before i do regular decorating kind of didn't want to do a lot of decorating yet until i get the new tile put on because then i know exactly what i want to use in here and i do need to get a chair for the desk area and you know i'm kind of kicking myself my table and chairs that's in the breakfast nook um i actually had six chairs that went with that we had a much bigger glass top on it when we first bought it because uh, we bought it when we moved into a house that had a big breakfast nook area. And we thought, well, let's get a bigger table. So we did that. But then when we moved to our next house, the breakfast nook was really small. So we had to get a different glass tabletop. So we got a smaller one. And actually what had happened is when we moved, the movers broke the old one. Of course they paid for a brand new one. So we just got a smaller one. And I had the two extra chairs. Well, I used one of the chairs because it had a desk area, like here, and I used it there. And the other one, I think we just stuck down in the basement. So uh, our last house did not have the desk area. 
and I ended up donating the two chairs after a couple of years because one of them got a crack on it in the wood part and uh, I just I just didn't have room for them anywhere in the house and you know they just took up a lot of room in the basement they're pretty good sized chairs like I said I'm kicking myself for not keeping it now because I could sure use it there at the desk area because I didn't think I was going to get another desk area. All the house, other houses we looked at didn't have desk areas. So, oh well. <laughs> so I got to find something to kind of coordinate and I sure do wish they still made this kitchen set there, table and chairs, because I would definitely get it. And of course I'd have to paint it because I did not paint those two chairs. They still stayed the brown wood that they were, but oh well. So with uh, the color, this is a funny, I have to tell you really quick. With the color that I picked for the walls, I actually used it in the laundry room back there. I only have a couple walls done. When we first moved in, I had to get some wall color up before the washer and dryer went in because I really didn't want to move them. That washer, the dryer's not heavy, but the wash machine is super heavy. And you got to pull it out pretty far to get back there to paint. So I thought, well, I'm just going to paint something really quick. And I had some paint left over from our last house in the basement because I love that tan color. And that's what this is. So uh, I thought, oh, okay, we'll do that. So I painted the wall and uh, I'm like, yeah, I like this. It'll look really great once I uh, do the cabinets too. So I also bought a five gallons of it to do our basement here because I really do like it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna work out great. It goes great with everything down there looks great in the laundry room. And uh, the funny part is, is when I was getting paint chips, because this is the color that it is right here. This is it. I got it at uh, Home Depot. And uh, I didn't even recognize the name of this. It's the color in the basement and in the laundry room. So I told my husband, I said, because when I went to get, uh, I went in there to paint the other wall where the new blind was going because my husband wanted me to paint it real quick. I looked at the can of paint in there and I said, oh my gosh. I said, this is the same color that I'm doing in the kitchen in the family room. I said, how did I do that? I just brought a bunch of these home and was holding it up to the countertop and looking at it with the white. I said, this is the best one. And turns out it's exactly what I already was using. <laughs> How often would that happen? So, but I, this is a really nice color and it also goes great with my new Buffalo check, the tan and cream colored. It was another one that coordinated with that too. So I'm like, I guess it was meant to be. <laughs> well, that is gonna do it for the video today. And uh, my next video will be my wreath with the items that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then hopefully I can get some more spring decorating videos up for you here soon. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.